Welcome to the network. Wow, what's up, Brand Man Network? It's Sean, and I'm back with another video, but a very important series indeed. This is because I didn't even know I was going to do this series, honestly, until I was talking to so many and so many artists and realized that most artists aren't even going to be able to take advantage of a lot of the opportunities out here. Not just because they don't have the right information, they're not going to even be able to perceive and understand and apply the right information because they're programmed to think in the incorrect way, a way that's really outdated and causing them to not be able to maximize on opportunity. Not just artists, really it's the people at large and you'll see what I in a second, but we're talking about artists, right? How do you become successful as an indie? You need to be thinking this way. And to think this way, you have to start understanding why certain things occur as well. So let's go ahead and get into this, right? Before I get into certain things, you have to understand about the industry and how indie is moving and what to expect. Understand this. Most people have gone to factory model schools. This is a reality now. Factory model schools. What is that? If you haven't heard of that before, that's essentially the fact that people have gone to schools that were modeled after factories back in an era, the Industrial Revolution, right? That era where most people had to be able to go through school, learn and fulfill factory jobs. They were basically training people to go work in factories. Most people aren't going to work in a factory these days. And if you don't believe me, Think about how school is built, right? These aren't coincidences. It's actually built that way on purpose, right? In factories, how do they go on lunch break? Bells. School, how do you go on lunch break? Bells. How do you know when to change class? Bells, right? Those are just similar things, right? The assembly line, the structure, the top-down structure of management, all of those things were originally started and pushed in the whole factory model. Right. Being very results driven. That was pushed through the factory model of school. And this is one of the big problems. Right. Results driven is good. You want to be able to push for results. But this is when they implemented test. And just because you pass a test doesn't mean a real result is going to happen in the real world. Right. We all know that you could cheat to pass a test. We know there's so many ways to pass a test without actually understanding what's going on. And most people are moving that way. So let's just go ahead and flip without getting super deep into that stuff, because it's very real. Right. That model of schooling has trained people for the wrong way of thinking to become entrepreneurs. And if you want to be an independent artist, you have to have some entrepreneur in you. And even if you don't want to be an independent artist, ultimately, but if you want to maximize everything that's out there today as an artist, even if you're on a label, you have to be able to have some entrepreneurial thinking. So keep this in mind. Right. When I when I talked about results. People actually think just because I marketed myself, I'm supposed to get results just because I've spent money. I'm supposed to get my results. I'm going to break that right now. No guarantees, zero guarantees. You have to be willing to market, 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 market until you find the hole, find what's working and then push through there. You have to be able to even spend some money here and there. You want to be able to, you know, shortcut some things and not waste or get scammed, of course. But there's going to be some money spending that happens that's not going to re result directly in what you perceive to be the best result in the world. It's all about the cumulative of you gaining right all of these actions. And then them resulting in something as a whole. Some of those actions took you one step. Some of those actions took you maybe one step back. But learning from all those from a marketing standpoint to be able to build your system, because what most artists are doing, this is when we go back to that, that school system, right? They're following information that's not correct or not correct for them, even if it's just at the moment. What I mean by that is these are two skills that you got to have as an artist. You have to be able to seek information. Right. And when you seek this information, you better be able to take in that information and still think independently. This is all just information. Someone gives an opinion. Someone gives advice. Even if it's a specific system that worked exactly for them, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. I got to say that a lot of times, but that's still just great information to keep in mind. Right. So seek information. When I say seek information, I mean research. 
because so many people are seeking, so many artists are seeking information and really just waiting for somebody else to tell them what it is and then run with that. You have to take in this information, then be able to sift through that information, think independently, and then analyze based on whatever's going on for you at the moment. It's a very real thing. You have to be able to do it. That's one of the big things that we're working on in Brand Man Network, right? We're giving you the information, but at the end of the day, what have I said again and again, right? We're trying to find the situation that works for you. It's helping build that model, and that's why it's a process. So those are a few things when it just comes to this first video, right? Let's go ahead and break out of that mode. Let's go ahead and break out of the system that you've been trained for. You have to be able to be aware of it first before you can start to break out of it because most people just think they're thinking completely differently or they think that they're thinking right. They're thinking things like conventional wisdom and common sense are a good thing. If you want an uncommon life, then you can't have common sense because common sense is what the common people have. Right. So you have to be able to start breaking out of these ways of thinking if you want to take a different path as an artist successfully. You can't be looking for short term results all the time. You can't be waiting around thinking that somebody's going to save you just meeting one person and getting one gem of information is going to save you. It's building, building, building. This is the beginning of reprogramming. And again, those two assets that you can have, the greatest things that you can have for yourself is to be able to seek and research information, right? And even be able to sift through that information, right? So you can analyze what's right, what's wrong, or what applies or doesn't apply at the moment, right? Take that information and find solutions. So that's it for reprogramming number one out of this series. I promise you that it's worth it to watch this entire series through because we're going to be talking about some other things when it comes to social media, the way you need to look at things, right? We're going to be talking about money, the way you need to look at things. Some things are just plain black and white, just reality, and artists got to go ahead and accept it versus trying to wiggle, find some ways out of it. But And then some of the things are literally just wrong. Right. Some things that people think and, and they're just wrong. So we're going to go over those things so you don't have to waste your tr time trying to make something work that probably isn't going to work. Of course, there's some there's some, you know, extraneous solutions, right? Some extraneous events where it happens rarely. Somebody is an exception to the rule, but you can't always plan to be the exception to the rule. So that's it for video number one of reprogramming. Off to video number two, we're going to start talking a little bit about some money. Let's get it. It's the network.